With me on that one now. There was a homeless person that kept breaking into it. Oh, no. Squatter. We're live. We are live. Squatters. Hey, okay. So, um, I need to find a prize for you, Kenzie. Is she the only person? The only person who signed up. Amanda was trying. Yeah. Did you sign up, Ian? Yeah. Sign up, man. Sign up. And last week, I was the only one. I know, and you got the prize last week. I think I have. Picking the class. I think I know what the prize might be this, this week, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see if it's, it's kind of one that, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, it's, it's the two of you and Amanda will come back in. And who's on Facebook? Do we have anybody on Facebook yet? Hey, Don, how are you? Oh, wow. No, from uh, Crested Butte. Crested Butte. Yeah. Okay. So today is command paid campaigns. We're going to go through that whole module of the, the different things in paid campaigns. One thing that um, I was thinking of that we used to start all of these classes out with like six months ago was, okay, does everybody know how to get to command? <laughs> and we don't do that anymore, and that's awesome. Because you guys all know how to get to command. Now do you know your password to command? And everybody knows their password to command. I'm going to say that and my password won't be right. Okay, so here we are in my command. And what we're going to do, we're going to play around with campaigns. Um, and that's right here. It's the microphone. Remember, the red button lets you... Uh, the red square lets you see what things are. So in command campaigns, um, we, have, we have integration with our different social media, different emails and such. Yeah, that's cool. So FYI, reminder, in settings, th there is a chance that you haven't done this yet. In settings, you can connect applications like Facebook. Can you connect, oh it does say connect more, so can I connect my business page and my personal page? I think you can. I will caution you. People off a boat and it's not, oh it's not. It's not populating those messages if they're on my personal page. Gotcha. That that's, that's an, I hadn't thought of that. So I think I only have my business page linked, but I just hmm. saw there's this link yeah, it does say connect more. Handle, ads manager. I wonder if it's this one here. Well, let's do it right now. Um, log in. Well, that's, isn't that just post? I don't know what that is. I entered an old password. So, uh, This looks like it just wants to connect. Exactly. <coughs> yeah. But I don't know if it syncs messages, messen messenger. If it does, that's cool. I thought it did, but it, it might. Uh, what I know this is for is for any paid promotion. So I've got Facebook and Twitter. Um, I don't have any marketing automation set up yet, so I haven't played around with these. Guys, yeah. Sorry. No. Were you guys just talking about like personal versus pages? Yeah. yeah. Like, can you link yeah. your business page and your personal page? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I yeah. just was making sure. It's not giving me that option there. Mm -hmm. well, and I don't know that that would even do what you're talking about. I don't know. I what, you're talking about what you're talking about is when, when we go to a contact. Um, when we go to a contact, it keeps track of email conversations yeah. we've had. Maybe I don't have an email link. I don't know. Hey, Regina. Okay, so when we're in here on these paid command, uh, paid campaigns, uh, you you need to have your accounts linked for it to work with this system. So that's through settings. Make sure you have those accounts linked through settings. Uh, you'll see these, these menu options at the top here, these tabs. 
These are to see what's going on. You don't have to be on that to create the, the, the uh, campaign. But what you'll see here is a paid ad uh, that will be coming out. I just did this this morning as an example. Probably do another one. And all paid campaigns are through Facebook? Or no. Through other they're through, well, I'll show you. We'll, so the different types of campaigns we're going to go over today are, uh, well, we can go over all of them, but I haven't done all of them yet. There's a Google search ad. Ooh, so it's like a, like a keyword ad? Like, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll show you. Social posts, direct mail, email. My email is not working with uh, MailChimp. Mm. So I haven't been able to really get so this. You have to have MailChimp for the email campaign. But MailChimp is free to us, though, isn't uh -huh. it? It's through Up to 2,500 contacts. Command. MailChimp well, MailChimp is free. It's free anyway. It's just free. You just can't send over like 1,000 a day. Yeah, it's something like that. Let's, let's start with a social post. So have you guys done the Facebook form leads? No. I've seen it. You've seen it, but haven't done it. When you're in Facebook, you can go to the ads manager and you can create these ads. Um, you can create these ads. Let's see, I gotta change. Like create a new campaign, sorry. And social ads, okay. Yeah, lifetime. You can create these ads that. Um, and that's the same as Justin Neil Nelson was coming. Yes, this is the Justin Nelson lead gen ad form. You can create these. Um, let me see if I can, let's see, edit. You can see a preview of the ad that I had ran here. So this is, this is for a, a listing I had. And you'll see it says, you know, me, some stuff about the home, photo of the home. Doesn't show the address because you want them to be curious doesn't show the price, you want them to be curious. They can click learn more. And when they click learn more, they come to this screen right here. And this screen right here shows a picture of the house. Learn more by providing your info below. Now the, the unique thing about this on Facebook is that this populates with the information they have in Facebook. So they're not going to say Mickey Mouse at gmail.com and give you a fake phone number. Mm -hmm. Can you decide what information it does it doesn't have? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you can edit all of these all of these fields. Now you don't want them to be too excessive right. because it starts to spook people and they're like, damn, all that's going to them. And yeah. And if they do that, Travis, then they stay within the Facebook world, right? And it doesn't like come back populate in a, as a contacting plan? Well, I'm showing you the Justin Nelson version. Who is Justin Nelson? He, he was, was guy who came here he came here, here and, and, and like in February, yeah. Facebook now the pain in the butt, the pain in the butt was that um, once someone clicked, by the way, someone would click on this, it would populate and then the the, you would have a link that would take them to a landing page. Either when I was doing it with this method through um, Playster. Mm -hmm. You know how you could feature your listing on Playster down at the bottom? Yeah. You could. Uh, it, it would, you would use that URL. So you would direct them to the Facebook, uh, the Playster featured listing. Then they'd see more about the house. On your website, yeah. And they could do the, the I'm interested then, Regina, but you already had them captured mm -hmm. at that point. So what it allowed you to do is take your Playster website and make it so that you didn't require their information to see the listing because you already got it through Facebook. What this would give us back when I was using it was... Um, this right here, you could go to there. Oh, it was always so cumbersome. Yes. It was <laughs> always so, so cumbersome. How to, 
But you're saying that just because that's Facebook. Yeah, it was Facebook. They, and they constantly tweak it just as soon as you feel like yeah. you got it. Uh, boom, man. they change it again. They change it again. It feels like it was right here. You would download you would download this CSV file. And the CSV file would then have to, you know, it had all the information that, that you required, and you would have to um, put it into command or whatever, either manually or import it after manipulating it. But the good thing is, is you're not using it anymore because you couldn't keep up with the leads. I wasn't. Right. Yeah. So, and there is a difference between ads manager and manage promotions. In... Facebook. Yeah, so the are you talking about the boosted post versus ad manager? Or that I think that's what I'm trying to make yeah. sure that I'm getting the distinction there because I keep saying one thing and something yeah. shows up. There were boosted posts and there were ads. Mm -hmm. There are. There still are. Okay, but what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna administer that through command. Now you'll notice, I, I'm sorry I'm teaching a class on it and I haven't fully done it to see the how it comes in, but I'm showing you how to set it up. I've got this one pending review. So this ad pending review here um, will go out on Facebook as soon as it's approved and I'll show you how to create it. Create new campaign. Well, let, let's back up. I want to back up just a hair. Because remember how when we were doing them straight through Facebook, the link took us to the Playster featured listing URL? I'm confused because I thought Playster wasn't a thing anymore. It's not. It's not. No, it's I'm, not. I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning it so that those who were doing it can relate to what, what okay. is replacing. So that, that's passed. That's done, dead and gone. Okay, so down here over at Sites, this is how easy it is to create a website for a property. And I just created this one this morning. So we can do create a new site. I'm going to create one for, it doesn't have to be your listing, by the way. Mm -hmm. It could be a listing. Right. So create a new site. You can make it on your agent website or a standalone page. Let's do this. Okay, so now we have this blank, blank screen here. Um, oh, not that. That's okay. Good. So you went to create a campaign, social, and then I don't see. Well, no, I'm I'm on I'm on sites right oh, now. Okay. And the reason I'm on sites is because I want to, I want to have um, something to link your social to. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, so I'm actually going to do a standalone here. Let's do a standalone. Um, let's do a standalone. The benefit of doing a standalone versus a page on your site, I don't know, a page on your site would have the ability to then have them roam your site. Not a bad idea. I'm just doing it this way because right now. Yep. Okay. So um, let's do, let's just say Facebook test. This is going to be a Facebook Oh, no, you know what? I just naming it that for this. Or, Amanda, should we do one? For, you have a listing. I do. What's your what's? Uh, Twenty five eighty five Octron. Do you mind if I create a landing page I'll for it? Copy for it. Uh, I will let you promote. <laughs> figured you would. Okay, so branded header and agent branding. Two different options we have. Um, this is what agent branding looks like. I just dragged that over there. Okay. And this is branded header. Oh, nice. It's whatever you want, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so then let's see. I clicked on it and then hit the delete button. I don't know what this button does. Let's push it. Let's push it. See what it does. Nope. Didn't do anything. All right. So um, branded header. Yoink. I win. Okay. Uh, Listing. Let's do a listing in there. I'm going to put that in there. And we're going to just populate all these things first. Okay. Yep. Mine doesn't show as many widgets as yours. 
Hmm. No. Configure widgets. Well, that's what we're going to do once we do this. You don't. What do you show? Oh, Ian? that's configuring the team. Region profile, contact form, testimonial list, and company profile. You show so team. Yours might be different because yeah. is your command different? Creating a standalone page, or did you do the Facebook? No, I did. I did agent website like you did. Here's the thing. I, I haven't gone in and set up our website since we moved from Placeter. Uh -huh. I haven't either. That's a problem. It could be no, a why. I did do. I'm doing a standalone. But the thing I'm guessing with you is, are you in command as a single agent, or are you in as a team? I don't really know. Up at the top. I mean, um, I have access to our team, right? In the yeah. Corner. Do you have these analogs, but with a team? Do you have team branding? Uh, my team widget just says like who we are. Okay. Mine looks completely different. That's interesting. Because he's on the standalone page. Or if I'm he's on, on the I, standalone page, he went to you the went website. To, try it. Let's do a standalone page. Oh, See I if you, you went to the website. I did, and then I changed it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. I didn't know if he switched. I did, I did. I, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back to this. Okay, so I, this, all of this information here is listing, is the listing widget. Okay, and then uh, you know if if we want to, we can throw in a market snap right there. Nice. And then if we want to, want to change the area of the market yeah, snap. that's in the configure widget. Oh. And then we'll throw in a lead form, and then let's throw in our legal footer. Nice. Interesting. Look at that. It took about ten seconds. Yeah. Off. Configure widget, and this is the header. I can put, you know, local expert, local real estate expert. Oh, I did that. That's not bad. Phone number, save and apply. Local real estate expert. I love it. Go on to number two. Browse listings. You did Can this pull journey. from? Okay, so if we're, can, does this pull from just KW listings or the whole MLS? The whole MLS. Because that was what wasn't working. So if we do something that's not. Oh no! I, actually, it's not the whole MLS. It's it's like everything. everything. <laughs> like this. Worldwide. This one is a Remax. Look, this is a Remax property in Minnesota. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. That's actually true. I mean, like, we're wanting to help other people in other places. We can do yeah. and get good referrals and stuff. But. So here we are with the Fox Run, selecting it. Come here, Gina. Can I ask you, when you were doing your, um, your header, it just says KW. Are we required to have the Keller Williams Colorado West Realty logo on there? It automatically does. It's work. down here. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, should it be up at top? It wouldn't be a bad thing. Mm -hmm. um, just yeah. That. So here's here's Amanda's Fox Run listing now in here. Look at every look at everything that's in here. Beautiful. Awesome. Right. Is there so can they click through the pictures on this? Yeah. Page? Yeah. Oh, right yeah. And its location. Now here. So I would go to the next one, the next widget. That's one thing, it always pulls up Barton Hill. This is north, right? North area. Luxury. Oh wait, I'm not necessarily talking about 81505. Now here's the difficult Part. You've got to know these. It's the estates. That's right. Do we see it? Can you type it in? No. This is a little faffy. Probably 
That's close big to, market. I'm like, it's probably close to the uh, um, Appleton. Let me just double check. Well, I mean, I know it's the estates, but I don't know if it's in there. Right. To sometimes the um, can you put put it in the Appleton for now because it is actually Appleton School that they go to. What's can that? you who do you have to put in their neighborhood? No, you don't. Well, you could just put in a zip code because that there we go. neighborhood is so concentrated. Could you put in multiple zip well, codes? Well, but it works. Yeah. No, I know, right? Because they're still adjusting some of that stuff with the multiple zip codes mm, in all the neighborhoods. You could put in multiple snaps, I think, Regina. That's enough, though. That's exactly what it needs, though, for this house. Yeah. Okay, then you go to next, and you've got this good okay, stuff. Okay, so there. where, when they fill this piece out, where does this information go? I don't know. I think it comes into our command. Yesterday, it popped into, there was a command, like a, hey, questions on yeah. thing. She was having a problem finding it, and there's a question and answer. So there's a Facebook group that has it. Well, let's, let's test it out today. How's that sound? Hey, Becky. Was that a ghost? Was that a ghost? Yeah, why is that door open? All right, I'm going to publish. That was somebody. All right, so I'm going to publish this landing page. I love it. Yes. That's awesome. So there it is. Well, let's let. Do you guys mind if we spend time on this a little more before going back to the page? So you you published it, and so that made it like that makes it. That makes it so the world can see it. Oh wow! Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to. We're going to run a. We're going to run a test on that question, of, um, Gmail. We're going to run a test on that question of. Where do those leads go? Two, Regina. If you don't, Becky. Yeah, go ahead. Well, like um, on your bottom, on your legal footer and everything, um, mine doesn't look the same as yours. Yours looks really big and bold and. Huh. And bold and beautiful. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yet, um, I don't have like all the Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Do you have those links? I, I just have, I, I do have it all on my. I think we might need to have a separate class of all those things. Yeah. Um, so, so, guys, yeah. Sorry. Keep, so keep going. When, if you don't want those things, even with my Facebook page, which is correct. It doesn't link it. Like if I clicked on that, yeah. it's, um, it doesn't appear to be linking it. I guess I need to do more work is what you're saying. I didn't say that. That's what they said. <laughs> I haven't answered yet. <laughs> so do you, ha do you have those LinkedIn settings? I do, and it looks like they are the correct accounts. Hmm. But you don't have them. But they're not showing up on my page. Okay. That's why I was just curious. Um, I'm going to punt on that right now. Okay, cool. Uh, but everybody just got an email from me. Will you click on that link? Go to this web page I just created. I didn't go. I did. Oh, I did. Oh, there it is. Oh, nice. Now go down to the bottom and fill out the lead form. It's because you paid for the pictures. <laughs> hmm. I did. <laughs> so even though you're using Amanda's, you don't necessarily have to have well, her permission to... No, you do have to have permission. Period. End of story. We ought to always ask that broker if we can have yeah. permission to... We yeah. should. So if it's a Coldwell, Remax, yeah. it's so what if So if there's a listing in your neighborhood and you want to go like, it's like your farm... And you want to say, hey, like, look what popped up. Call you have that to call realtor. the agent. Yes, it is so violating if you don't. Yeah. yeah, so don't we have to publish it? Like on Facebook, you have to publish it and say, 
this listing is complements or yeah that the so the rule is yeah presented by or compliments yeah. of yeah just it's just that simple she's talking not about i don't know amanda that that's like a rule but it is very good etiquette right. to do see i was told by amanda that it is a rule i was told as well okay i i didn't say it's not Uh huh. That might be the restriction. Well, the thing is, is that we have. Zillow, you got all the Well, we have IDX feeds. We feature everyone's listings on our websites. So, guys, fill out that form, though, too. I did. You already did? Okay, let's see. Let's see. I'm right. That's pretty cool, though. It looks really, um, really great. I can't believe you still have that house. I mean, it's beautiful. The price, it is beautiful. It's the, I mean, it's great. It really is a great house. Did they fix the windows and the Yeah, shower? the window was fixed. Yep, everything's great. It's just that, you know, like, it's a certain price point, and it is a little different of a layout, so. Although I love it, personally, I'm like, gosh, if we could buy that house, I would do it in a heartbeat, because it would be so perfect for our family. Everybody would have their space. <laughs> So, I'm seriously like, maybe there's some miracle way I can afford this house. What do you guys think? Where would I find it? Where, what am I yeah, missing? Here? Oh, there they are. Joe Mama. That was me. <laughs> ah. I'm not on there yet somehow. But Joe good. Mama. There they are. Okay. Now, oh, so it, came, right into it you came into my contacts. contacts. Now, the hard part is my phone is on Facebook. Okay. So, I can't, I bet I'll have a Kelly notification too. Do you get notifications from Kelly? Because Kelly makes me log in every time. Well, but the Kelly app, and if you have allowed notifications, it should show up at the top of the bar of your phone. You should get the blue box that says Kelly. So here we go. Yeah, I've got Regina, and it shows me. Yeah. Now I'm going to do another test, right? Okay. Wait, so did you write that as the note, the high Travis, I want to buy this house? I did. Okay. Let's see what. Let's see what Ian did. Ian said so nope. <laughs> huh. Don't call me, damn it. <laughs> you better delete that right now, Travis. <laughs> I'm gonna put, put on a freaking automated email thing. And we got yo. Yeah, you probably are on. Well, let's see. No, you're not on a smart plan yet. Okay, so now here's the thing. You see this this box? It'll, it, they show as leads until you turn them, until you unclick them from a lead. Mm. Now let's test this out. I love this. Going to reports. I'm going to reports. Go to goals this month. 2019 goals this month. Leads. Yeah, see, this module still isn't working right because it shows I've got one lead month to date. But you guys just turned into, into but you leads. Haven't, you haven't qualified us. So go into that lead and, and just respond to it like, say, contacted Regina and whatever. Yeah. You know? Oh, there's Becky. Okay, so you have a lead and then show an activity that will say that, yeah, you have an interaction of sorts. That's a great interaction. Right? Yeah. Quality interactions, that's, that's what I'm all about. Now, how long does it take to... Did I not save that? Add activity, call. Put has responded or something hmm. on there. See how it says has responded. Just curious. That's how that it's works. just not showing up there. That's weird. Uh -uh. And you're under all activity. activity. And did you do in your online? Sometimes I, I find something different doesn't work each day. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I go to do that and I'm like, why? Wow, now you're down to zero leads. Well, that was for 2020. Focus on the thing. Oh, 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 look. Oh, it did just update. 
It did just update to seven leads. Was it six before? No, it was one. One, and we've got one, two, three, four, five in here. So how many times did you One, two, three, four. I got four leads off that. Kooky. Okay. Needs more exploration, but that's pretty cool that they come to us there. I really would love to just... So I hope I don't, don't ruin this. This page. So, okay, so the, that, well, what we just did there was we got a lead from that page. Right. Right. Personally, I think that's probably not incredibly likely right. that someone's going to. find your page. Right. So they can find your page by clicking on whatever promoted link you have to that page. Right. And let's go to that. So, we were talking, the, really, the, the basis of this class is paid campaigns. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to create a new campaign. We're going to create a new social media campaign. What would you like to share? Um, Get all crazy. Looking for a luxury home and, I don't know, go for it. You're better than me with words. I'm going to be, I'm going to be simple. Mm -hmm. Luxury home in North Grand Junction. Mm. Should we schedule? We'll publish this one immediately. Okay. By the way, you can schedule these posts, everyone. You can set, schedule them out there. The best days are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings, it says. Interesting. So it has algorithms to help you. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah. Cool. Right? Well, let's see. What is today? Let's, let's schedule it for. Monday, Wednesday, or Friday morning. Let's schedule it for Friday. I'm going to put this on Facebook. You could put it on both. Um, Beverly tells me that it's best to uh, stagger things. Mm -hmm. So it's not all at the same time. Yeah. People get used to your stuff coming up. Mm hmm. Okay, so let's see, where was I? Yeah, right. If it dropped all at the same time. Okay, then I'm going to click. This is looking different than every other time I've done it. <laughs> I hate that. It's just mad. <laughs> <laughs> so I love the fact that we are able to do this. So do you just do the add the link? It's a new social post. Did I? Let me, let me go back. Add, create new campaign. Social post. Oh, 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 okay. This is, I had started down the social post, which would just be a Facebook post. Right. Mm -hmm. Which you can do, by the way. Paid uh, you can just create a Facebook post through here. Link, you couldn't add a link to that page you just created. I could cut and paste that. But let me show you this one. I'm going to advertise a listing. This is a goal. What was it? 2585? Two, Amanda? I'm sorry, Charles, you went on social, social ads. ads. Yes, paid ad, paid ad. Okay, I'm going to do Facebook, set up campaign. Search for a property, 2585 Fox Run. Oh, check it out. You've got different statuses here and only my listings, but I'm going to turn that to all listings. I'm going to select this beautiful Fox Run home. Okay. Fox Run, that's the campaign name to advertise the listing. That's all set in there automatically. Add text. Oh, I'm going to just keep this beautiful language that's in here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Whatever. <laughs> Enter a headline. Luxury, can you spell luxury living in North Grand Junction? Sweet. Travis, can you add emojis there? Probably. I'd, 
you probably can. I know what you're getting at. Um, I think it's a macro on the keyboard, isn't it? Not always. I don't know how to right now on this keyboard. It doesn't look like it's highlighted like a regular Facebook ad, right? Is that what you're thinking, Todd? Yeah. No, you can, you can probably do this within Kelly on your phone, yeah? Is all this mobile yet? I haven't tried it. So if Break out that phone and check it out for us. Save, add text. Okay, go to Travis Cox, Colorado West Realty. Okay, now use Facebook lead gen form or use, um, use a site or landing page. We're going to use the Facebook lead gen form. Call to action button, learn more. Follow up destination URL. So. I could cut and paste a URL and put it in here, or I could choose site. Oh, like one you just created. Like the one I just created wow. right there. It's there, yeah. Who do I want to target? I want to target a custom audience in Grand Junction within 15 miles. I can add all the, all the interests. Let's see, Polo, do you think that'd be a... There's so many in here. So this is means interest as far as people who are looking for uh, a, a budget of some sort, or they're doing budget management in their life, and all of a sudden it comes on that page. Is Do you that know how you can like stuff on Facebook? Like you like pages and, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You can like movies. The same thing. So you can yeah. like interests that you check like. When you're setting up your Facebook profile, it says, what are some of your interests? Uh, you can go in and change those later, too. So it's saying, I'm interested in the housing market, you know, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or, you know. It There's also follows you. Tons of them in here. Yeah. Things that you like. put stuff in? Like your interests? I don't. Yeah, the, like the way that the, it like follows, like haven't you ever noticed that you like, no, I know. Yeah, I talk know about something, or you'll you'll share something, and then it pops up on your Facebook. It's because it follows you. So, for the most part, don't use these unless it's a horse property and you want to target people with horses. But then, how? Where can we be assured that this is going once you've done? It's going to everybody within 15 miles. Oh, so it's not discriminatory. Exactly. That drop down list that he was just on dentistry, doctors, lawyers, mm -hmm. people that are in the world. Yeah, that's a good it's, idea. It's an employment idea, you know, that it's, it's targeting the people that have that type of money to be able to afford it. Now, I would say that that is true if you're trying to sell this house. Right, that's, that's what I meant. But that's not the point here. The point here is to get buyers <laughs> for all prices of houses unless you don't want a buyer for a $250,000 house. Yeah. Is, is if you've got one house in that luxury category, want to be a great way of attracting other listings and other potential sellers That's and saying, idea. wow. Yeah. Really got yeah. Well, there, that, yeah, there are ads, and I haven't played with them yet, that are focused on getting listings. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So this one is kind of a lead, this is a lead gen one for getting, um, getting buyers. So I've got a total campaign budget of $30 here. And I'm going to save that. That seems good. And I'm going to publish it here. And you have to have your visa and all that information in for this to work. Where do you put in your card information? Uh, I did it earlier. It seems like it was in the paid camp. Yeah. Let me, let me get this saved. Okay, so that's a 
campaign that'll run. Um, right here, payments. And if you aren't oh, hooked okay. up, let's say, your Facebook page, then it just keeps saving it as yep. a draft. Pretty much. Yeah. Got to hook that Facebook page up. Yeah. Well, I don't understand why my Facebook There's a lot of little things that we yeah. can deal with. Well, we, I can look at it with you. So uh, let, it's, we got, we've got 22 minutes. I want to talk about it, one other thing here, and it's the direct mail. So yeah, the direct mail on this is pretty cool. Yay, I'm so excited you're saying this because I need to do this right now. Yeah. So here, Todd, Ian, whoever said it, you know, what is your goal? Is it to advertise a listing, attract talent, event awareness, other? Um, I don't fully know the difference between all of these, but let's say we want to do one to attract listings. It gives uh, you a definition when you clicked on it. Yeah, I don't know what's different later on, though. Oh, I see. Yeah. You have to enter a campaign name, I don't think it'll let you go forward. Yeah, let's say um, Traver Trail. Let's say Traver Trail listings. Use a dynamic template. Yeah, we'll use a dynamic template. Why not? Sounds awesome. Sounds good. Let's see. 609 West Harvard. You need to change that. It's not listed. Um, sold. Okay, so how do you do it on one that's not in KWLS yet? Oh. Hmm. 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 Well, let's let's stick with our um, two five eight five Fox Run for now. I'm going to select that one. So here, over here, we have these different options for mailing. Now remember, I don't know, maybe a couple of you heard me poking around because yeah. we're getting rid of uh, Michael Lewis, and I've used Michael Lewis, and I love it because of the prices, because I can do a mailing for 58 cents a piece. And we have this. We have this again. 59 cent um, first class. Or are they generating we'll, 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 I'll show you. We'll, we'll go, yeah. Um, 79 cent for standard, 99 cent for first class. Um, what do you typically do? Well, the Michael Lewis I was doing was the third class, which I think is the standard. And that's uh, no return receipt, no, and, and slow, and slow. I usually had to count on two to two and a half weeks oh, wow. before people got it. So this is nice. Um, you know, I like this template right here. This this one, you know, eleven by six by eleven inches. That's that's awesome that's, yeah. because it's gonna stick hard out. Yeah. yeah. Hard to throw away. Right. Yeah, hard to throw away. That's what we want. I mean, I wouldn't call it hard. <laughs> <laughs> More inconvenient. Than <laughs> okay. So um, listing details are all in here. So we've got. Everything just populated from KWLS. What's that listing status? Oh, it's just leading it off. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Charles, that 59 cents is with postage, right? So I'm pretty yeah. sure it is, Ian, yeah. We can pick which photo we want to use. Um, that aerial is great, but that's a beautiful photo, too. Yeah. So many and good. Else so many good photos. Let's use this one. I don't know. This one's. Let's use this one. Jeez. Right? Yeah. Just Thank pick God. a freaking picture, man. Okay. okay. So now it's putting in some Espinoza yeah. info. Do you want to have you in there? Yeah. Travis Espinoza. <laughs> 
Right? What, what? No, I'm just like, I need to change. I've got so many things. Are you change. not Espinosa anymore? I am a Martinez officially, but I've got to get it all transferred. You're going to ch change it all? I have to change it all. So I'm, I'm, I, as I was talking to Diane and Elle today, she's like, just hyphenate and then slowly, you know. Yeah, so people don't be like, yep. yeah, that's, that's smart. I decided that if I ever get married, it's not changing. It's just too much work, so. <laughs> this is interesting. You see this warning it's given me here? Low res picture. That's because it's coming off of KWRI. Interesting. So you have to upload it. Yeah, you should upload a photo there. Yeah. No. Um, company, blah, blah, blah. Targeting. Local targeting. Target my database. Create new audience. Ooh, this is a new one. Create new audience by tags. Audience name by tag. Dude, it won't even freaking let me change my name. So you can create different mailing lists and audiences. Email field is required. Weird. Interesting. Interesting. Let's um, target by neighborhood. And this would be where it would be good to talk to our title companies and find out what the feeder neighborhoods are. So it's called the reverse prospecting factor where you, what? You're giving me looks. No, it's, uh, I'm looking at, it, no, it gave, me, it gave me a red email, so, emails field is required. I know, that's the only downside is that sometimes. Is it up above? What email? It's direct mail, not email, you retarded thing. Um, oh, yeah. oh, my email. Okay. Did we see it? <laughs> Man, no, no. Here, call them in oh, oh. Like, oh, in the agent, maybe? Oh, no. It should, I so. thought I put that in there. Doom. Ah. So go to your, your thing. Well, no, because it doesn't have red. It has a check, a green check. Yeah. Well, they didn't well like let's do these. Let's do these two. Four seven four. Yeah. Budget. 200 postcards. Now, can you go less than 200? Let's see. Actually, let's just go 10. Can you do 10? Look at that. You could do 10. Wow. It's not throwing that out. That was another thing. Michael Lewis required a minimum of 100. Right. That's ridiculous. Well, it's not if you're farming. Well, I mean, but, if you're but it's hard just sending it to a neighborhood with 50 people. Right. Or, it's hard to do a, or even like a sphere to start out. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, I put a lower res photo in there, it looks like. Damn it. That's a neat picture. I'll send you one. Okay, mm -hmm. step two, configuring. So it booted out the email thing, okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is the part I wanted to get to that, to show you. Um, we told it we were going to target a neighborhood, and we told it we wanted to do 10. So this is where that property is, right there. And we, we can tell it we want property um, all, or single, or multifamily. Not really a big deal over there. Uh, zero to 30 bedrooms, sure. Square footage, we have a huge range. Year built, uh, yeah. Last year sold. Check this out. So we can say only if they've sold between you know, 2007 and 2010. Hmm. So they're probably getting ready to sell again, Travis. Exactly. We can sort these so we don't. Oh, so those lists we used to get from the freaking title company, we can basically generate ourselves. We kind of can, yeah. I mean, this is a, yeah. That's the, that's the point, Ian, yeah. 
Send copy to company address. Sure, I like to get copies of my stuff. And you start changing Yeah, because I picked 10 of them. Nice. Yeah. So why is it charging you $1.20 for your Yeah, I, I was just looking at that. I was yeah. like, hey, how come this is an eight ninety? Yeah. Uh, so it went up quite a bit, Travis. I mean, when you. I don't, well, let's go to next. Yeah, but is that $8.90 Postcard so, quality. So that really? Oh, it's because oh, it's because I picked the big. You picked the big guys. I picked the big one first class. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. it was at eight ninety. Was it? Yeah, and now it went up to thirteen twenty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was eight nine cents, well. not fifty nine cents. Oh. Doop doop, come on, load it up. This is what I named it. How do we go back? Okay, so Travis, ah. they, that those dots represent the houses that it's going to go to within the yeah. area. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. he's targeted an area now. Because I, because so if I go up, if I scale it up and do like that. So if you were wanting to do a theater neighborhood, what you would do is you would look at okay, people who are. Moving so up to the 685 area are probably going to be in the 400s, you know. So, you know, where in Grand Junction do we know that houses sell in the 400s? Well, we might direct mail them. Then, hey, are you looking to move up, you know, or something? I don't know, you know. So, we can do the feeder markets there. So, um, does it address it with their name or current residence? That is what I don't know. And, and what's the, does it give you a turn time once you submit this? Or are you just... I don't know yet. For it to enter your mailbox or come here to I don't know yet. This is one of those things that just came available like two weeks ago. So, um, or at least came to my attention two weeks ago. And when, okay, so some of the questions I have, I don't know if you know these answers. Yeah. When you go into like some of your other um, design templates to create it, they either have bleed cards or non-bleeds. And when you send it to a local printer here, they're having issues with it and saying, if this is a big Keller Williams thing, why can't we figure out what you should be doing on this card? And so I wonder if this takes over and the printer knows what to do when you're doing this. It, it, what you're saying is you've been sending bleed designs to a printer mm -hmm. and they can't do it. No, he's, he, he's he can do a, bleed? An email saying, well, do you want this to be bled or not? Uh -huh. And if you want me to, it's going to cost you $20 extra in design fees or else figure out your settings when you yeah. download this PDF to me. And I'm having a really hard time with it. So today at 10 o'clock, I was going to go and talk to them. Did you send them a bleed PDF? And then I send them a non-bleed manual and otherwise uh -huh. mirroring. And he said that it would something would have to be different, changed on the PDF yes. to print it as a bleed. Correct. Because it wasn't, it wasn't camera ready. Yeah, nothing was ready to go on it. Hmm. Well, I mean, I've always used, I've always just done Canva, and it always asks me that question, but it's still, like, it's always a sh hit and miss when I throw stuff out there. Like, yeah. I hope it comes out good. What yes. is bleed and, what is bleed not, and bleed? not bleed? So, bleed is like, see how that is right up there where you have the 2085 uh, fox run? Yeah. And there's like a little border that goes around where your picture would be. Now, granted, if this was a postcard, there would be a little border. So, bleed means it's printing color all the way out to the uh, edge. edge. And up to the edges. Most printers can only print like to a quarter inch or or so. Okay. And did use copy copy before Canva. So bleed goes I mean, over the edge and not bleed does it. Switched over to precision. Well, no, we don't. Precision printing we're can smarter. do a hundred cards for thirty-four cents, which is great. Except for now, every time they're going to charge me, just do Canva, do the Canva program, and then send it to them. If Want to, but then you're not but it's color. the same thing. It's I mean, all, yeah. Still dealing with them calling you and saying, I 
can do this, do you want it to be bled or not? And if you want it, either way, doesn't matter. Either way, they're trying Are they to explaining out. what needs to be different? No. And that's why he can't tell me what is, is it Is it the aspect ratio? I have no that's idea what good. that means. He didn't use those words to me. Aspect ratio is the ratio of the height to the width. Nope, that's not it. Is it that the page size is not right? Like no. it's a four by six, but the file is 3.78 to whatever? Nope. But he won't tell you what it is. He doesn't know what it is. That's the frustrating part. He's oh. not the technical guy, probably, then. Well, and he's saying, well, our graphic artist can do it, but it's going to cost you 20 bucks. Yeah. And so now I've just upped my cost. Yeah. Hmm. So I was wondering if anybody has any experience with this to see if the KW printer is saying, okay, the reason why it's 59 cents to do it is... When you say the KW printer, you mean well, what, wherever, wherever we're doing, doing. yeah. Okay, so that which I showed you was the direct mail. Right. We don't have print services yet for designs. So what are you saying? So if you create something in designs, you, we can't order it through, we can't order it through um, like they won't send you Kay, Keller Williams. But the only way you can do it then is through that paid campaigns that you were doing. Well, that, yeah, the direct mail will give you that. But you know, what you can do is... And this is exactly where I'm going. Yeah, mine. You're going to designs to get your postcards. And then you're sending. Yeah. So the, the campaigns, you can pull up a design campaign. Um, you can pull up a design campaign. Or here's the hard part about the local, is if they won't explain it to you. This, you could take this, download it, and upload it to Vistaprint or something. And I, that's, I downloaded that yeah. and sent it to Precision to, Printing. But they... Yeah. I it, got it from Office Depot as well. Okay. Hmm. Well, they need to be able to tell you what needs to, to well, what needs to happen to meet their print parameters. Exactly. And he said, if this is a platform you're using within Keller Williams, there's got to be some sort of little button that you're not. Yeah, you can. And therefore, bring it in and let's play with it and see. Right there. See, right there. No, so I sent it to him use manual bleed. I sent him one using an automatic by mirroring bleed. Mm -hmm. I sent him the cut marks and with the CMYK, whatever that is. Uh huh. And sent that this is cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Okay, so I sent all of that to him, and they still came back and said it's wrong, it. but they won't tell you That's what's really right. Bad. I don't like that. Yeah. This. Um, this isn't bleed. I had this printed by Office Depot. But it's not a bleed, so I can't answer that. Did you do that online with Office Depot? Yeah. So bleed In has, Glenwood. A bleed has to, the paper has to be at least a half inch each direction that your bleed runs over and off. Right. And then they cut it, yeah. And then your cut marks are so important. Yep. And then you're paying for cut marks. Yep. You're paying mm -hmm. for the overage on the paper, so when you make your postcards, you have to be a standard size, and they have to cut the paper just a little bit bigger so that the finished product. Uh, that has nothing to do with it. Because uh, uh, uh. mm -hmm. what he, I don't, yeah, I mean, I wish it was that. I, that's kind of what Office Depot said to us, mm -hmm. and so I corrected that file, and every time I send to Office Depot, it's a mess. Well, yeah, the thing about Office Depot I'm going to end this, the yeah. live. Sorry. No, it's okay. That's good. The thing about... Bye, everybody. <laughs>